I'm like just trying to figure out how to be a pop star, like my way. Have any of you guys ever wondered where Halsey calls home? Although she hails from New Jersey, these days Halsey's living in a multi-million dollar home in Sherman Oaks, California. She also had a home in Hollywood Hills that's worth around 2.6 million. Halsey bought her latest house just last year and it's been described as secluded and a mid-century modern pavilion. From what I've seen, it's a really nice place, but we'll show you guys all of that. Ashley Nicolette Frangipani, who we better know these days as Halsey, has been killing it in the music game lately. She's a singer-songwriter and her anticipated album Manic literally just came out. It was considered eligible for gold certification not even 30 seconds after release. The explosive success of her new album has to do with the lead single Without Me, which I'm sure all of you know topped the Billboard Hot 100 last year. Anyways, if you check out Manic, it reveals a lot in the lyrics about her life. Some reviews even compare it to reading a diary. And of course, she touches on topics like ex-boyfriend g Easy and her relationship with her father, if you listen closely. Halsey is only 25 years old at the time of this recording, but she's accomplished a ton in just a few short years. Not even a decade ago, she couldn't afford to go to school where she wanted, and was going down a much darker path. Her debut studio album Badlands went certified platinum in 2015, along with four of its singles, and her fan base and popularity grew, she became a more mainstream artist. These days, Halsey's estimated net worth is around 12 million US dollars. Her talent in music has gotten her away from the small town she grew up in in New Jersey, and even being homeless at one point, to living the life of a celebrity in Los Angeles. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're gonna look at where Halsey lives in California, including her new house in Sherman Oaks, where she lived before that in Hollywood Hills, and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Lady Gaga, who's one of Halsey's inspirations, and Harry Styles, and we'll have links to those at the end of this. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. Before we hop into Halsey's current home situation, let's get a little background information so you can really see how far she's come. We don't know what her childhood home looked like, but if any of you guys do, be sure to let me know in the comments. We do know she was born in Edison, New Jersey and definitely had humble beginnings to say the least. Halsey changed schools a lot and also was the victim of bullying. She's been open with her troubled past, including the fact that she struggles with bipolar disorder and more. She got into drug use as a teen too, and when she was 17, her boyfriend at the time was 24. He lived on Halsey Street in Brooklyn, which helped her come up with the stage name. She said, That's where I first started writing music and where I started to feel like I was part of something bigger than my town in the middle of nowhere, New Jersey. Halsey is kind of like a manifestation of all the exaggerated parts of me, so it's like an alter ego. Halsey couldn't even afford to go to the school she wanted to and ended up going to community college, dropping out shortly after and getting kicked out of her house. She explained her parents didn't agree with a lot of things about her at the time. Halsey moved into a basement in lower Manhattan with a bunch of stoners and when she wasn't there she stayed in a New York homeless shelter. She even considered prostitution as her way of making money at the time since she sometimes had nothing in her bank account. All of those hardships made Halsey the artist she is today who so many fans admire. We won't be be talking any more about her past, but now when we look at her gorgeous homes in California, you can understand the life she left behind in New Jersey. Back in 2017, Halsey purchased a gorgeous home in the Beechwood Canyon area of Los Angeles. It was super luxe and modern and described as architectural modernist style. Beechwood Canyon is a neighborhood in the Hollywood Hills, so the northern part of Hollywood in LA. The upper portion of the canyon is the old Hollywood land community that was advertised in the 1920s by the original of what is now the Hollywood sign. I've always been fascinated with the old Hollywood land area because my favorite celeb and idol Holly Madison bought her first home in LA there. Anyways, Halsey paid $2.23 million for this house at the time of purchase and it sits on a uniquely shaped 0.18 acre lot that made the most of the backyard. The home was on extremely private land and had an open floor plan, lots of glass walls and concrete flooring. The inside of Halsey's house spanned 2,490 square feet and has four beds and three bathrooms. Of course, there were all the usual rooms like living areas, a dining room, kitchen, and a den. 
The house opens up to a double height foyer with shaped windows and the living room is just a step down from the entryway. There you'll find a fireplace that makes the modern home much cozier. The kitchen area also has double height ceilings and high windows to let in more lights and you'll find a bar just beside her dining room. Halsey's master suite had floor to ceiling windows and a lot of natural lights and her ensuite bathroom was constructed with wood flooring and walls, even a rainfall shower. Since Halsey's Beechwood Canyon home was on a steep hill and surrounded by trees and hedges, there was a lot of privacy here. And of course, there was also a high wall for additional security. Outside there were multiple entertaining areas including a decked courtyard with built-in barbecue and an outdoor kitchen and lounge under a deck. There is also a beautiful infinity edge swimming pool, spa, and fountain to complete the vibe of the home. Apparently interior designer Brianna Bitten helped Halsey create the look she wanted for this home. In an interview, she spoke about what they did to make the Hollywood Hills house perfect for Halsey's taste. One of the things Brianna mentioned was, Creating a comfortable, relaxing oasis was definitely a priority for us throughout the design process. One way we accomplished this was through the greenery. We have a 10-inch living wall in the entry as well as various types of palm trees throughout the home. The greenery instantly creates a feeling of good energy, provides clean air and comfort. In the past, Halsey also called this home her dream house on Instagram, so I wonder why she ended up putting it on the market. Either way, she got a new home which we'll look at in just a sec and put this house in Beechwood Canyon on the market for for about 2.6 mil. Now let's take a look at Halsey's latest piece of real estate, her house in Sherman Oaks. Sherman Oaks is a neighborhood in the San Fernando Valley of Los Angeles. Although it's considered a bit more suburban, it offers slick shopping malls, even an open air one, and the Ventura Boulevard Strip, which is full of cool pubs, wine bars, and more. Halsey's new house in Sherman Oaks is also at the end of a long driveway and behind gates, so she doesn't have to worry about stalkers. There's a ton of seclusion and privacy at this place. It's actually completely invisible from the street below. She's also right off of Mulholland Drive. The hideaway is a 1959 post and beam home designed by architect Richard Dorman, best known for his work in Southern California during the mid 20th century. Of course, the home has been fully restored and updated, but they also kept the same architectural design that Richard created. Halsey paid 2.4 million for the home and it's 2,226 square feet of living space with four beds and 2.5 baths. It's around the same size as her Hollywood Hills home or just slightly smaller. The single level house has a pretty open floor plan which really gives a true California vibe, especially with all of the glass walls. Some features of Halsey's Sherman Oaks home include a spacious living and dining area with a massive fireplace, a cozy den, and an Eden kitchen. The kitchen has walnut cabinets, top of the line appliances, and a wine fridge. Other rooms in the home include a formal dining room and an office. Moving to the bedrooms, Halsey has a spacious master suite in this place and a huge master bathroom to go with it. There are dual vanities and a large glass door that leads to the yard. Both of the guest bedrooms also have glass sliding doors that lead out to the backyard too, which I guess is one of the cool benefits of having a single level home. Outside of Halsey's house, you'll find a large freeform swimming pool that looks even bigger than the one at the last house and a flat grassy lawn. There's also an elegant patio that's perfect for tanning or having guests over. I think that Halsey Halsey's Sherman Oaks home is gorgeous but still humble and cozy feeling. It definitely looks like a place that would be easy to call home. So now we've looked at where Halsey calls home including her latest real estate investment, her home in Sherman Oaks, and the Hollywood Hills home she lived in prior. Which one did you like better? I'm a fan of both of her houses because neither are over the top and they're designed beautifully. I think I like the one in Hollywood Hills even better though because it was multi-level with a unique design and had so many windows. Let me know which you prefer down in the comments. Either way, by looking at Halsey's property investment, she's come a long way from sleeping in a New York homeless shelter when she was a teen. Her success in her homes are well deserved because she was driven to get where she is and has serious talent. Halsey's only 25 and already overcame plenty of obstacles so far, but I think her career will only keep growing. I for one am excited to see how her new album does. Okay guys, now I'll read out some comments from previous videos. On our Jojo Siwa house tour, Kyle said, The mansion was listed at 3,995,000 last April after a few price drops. It was priced at 3,495,000 and Jojo got it for 3,425,000. It's just over 6,000 square feet. Thanks for the info Kyle, wherever you found those facts. I'm glad I know now. In the Jojo Siwa house tour, I couldn't find the numbers for her new home, so I guess there's the answer. On our Harry Styles house tour, Monica said, 
How do you guys find all this information? I can barely find my shoe in the other room. Thanks, Monica. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, we aren't always perfect, and I definitely get some stuff wrong, but we try. I also got some comments requesting Niall Horan's house tour as well as Shawn Mendes, so I'll definitely get those done for you guys soon. Alright guys, that's all I could find on Halsey's homes in Los Angeles. Did you guys like her new house in Sherman Oaks? What were your favorite parts? Or did you like her previous Hollywood Hills home better? Be sure to tell me in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you next time with some more videos. Bye!